Practice scoring from all over the court in this game called seven spot shooting. Use a half court. Use cones to mark seven shooting spots. Two each at the short corners, inside the low post, and on the elbows. And one on the free throw line. Here's how it looks. Divide players into two teams lined up at each of the short corners with a ball. On your call, Ready, set, go. both teams start shooting, getting their own rebound and passing to the next teammate in line on each turn. Once they sink three buckets, they can advance to the next shooting spot on the court and try to make three more baskets. There you go, good. Move to the next spot right here, elbow. Good, keep shooting, all good. The first team to hit three shots from each of the seven shooting spots wins the round. Remember, great passes lead to great shots. After getting their own rebound, players should focus on making a crisp pass to the next teammate in line, setting them up to score. Good girls, winners, winners, good, good. Players race to beat the clock in this shooting game we call Minute to Win It. Use a half court, then Use cones to mark two shooting spots equally distant from the basket. Here, we're shooting from the elbows. Here's how it looks. Divide players into two teams, each lined up at a shooting spot. The first player in each line gets a ball. Set a target number of baskets for both teams to score in one minute. Whoever gets close to 10, so we're going for a minute. On your call. Go! Count them out, count them out, get your rebound. Players take turns shooting, rebounding, and passing the ball to the next player in line. The first team to reach the target score in under a minute, or the team that's closest to it when you call stop, wins. Three, two, one. Good if it goes. What do you got? What do you got? With time ticking, some players may rush their shots and forget proper shooting form. Shots are more likely to go in if the shooter balances their feet, tucks in their elbow, and keeps their eyes on the basket. Encourage them to be quick without hurrying. Hey, good job, white. Good job, black. Players practice making the extra pass and finding open teammates in this game called Good Shot, Great Shot. Use a half court, then use cones to place shooting spots around the floor, about 10 feet apart from each other. You'll need as many cones as you have offensive players. Here, we're using four. Here's how it looks. Divide players into two groups, offense and defense. This game requires more offensive players than defenders. We're playing four on three here. When you inbound the ball, the ball handler can either shoot or pass as they look for an open shot, but they cannot dribble. Here's where you come in. When a shot goes in, you decide if it was a good shot or a great shot. If the shooter was contested by a defender, it's a good shot worth one point. If they were wide open, it's a great shot, worth two. Play short rounds about a minute long, then have teams swap roles. Because the offense has an extra player, there will always be an open teammate to pass to. Sometimes, it takes a pass or two to find the open shot. Remind players to find the best shot for the team, not the best shot for themselves. One, two, three. Let's go. It takes two to get a bucket in this shooting game we call scoring duos. Use a half court, then place two cones about eight feet apart on both sides of the three-point line. Here's how it looks. Divide the group into pairs, each with the ball. Line up one player from every pair at each of the two cones on their side of the court. On your call, go. pairs begin attempting two-player offensive sets. Start off with a dribble handoff into a layup, with players alternating roles on each turn. Once they make four shots, they can advance to dribble handoffs into jumpers. Finally, they can progress to backdoor cuts, passing to a teammate on the baseline as they make a sharp change in direction towards the basket. Challenge players to limit the number of dribbles they use when driving to the basket. The more efficient their ball movement is, the less likely the defense is to get a steal in the actual game. Practice playing with and without an advantage with some good old-fashioned two-on-one. Use a half court. Divide players into two groups. Pairs lined up at the three-point line and individuals lined up under the basket. The game begins when you inbound the ball to the first pair in line. 
let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. They become offense and play two on one against the first player at the baseline. Then, new players rotate in for the next two on one matchup. Work defense, work defense, let's go. Blue off, black on D. Red next, red next, go. Here, players practice drawing defenders in to free up space on the floor. If the ball handler dribbles directly at the defender, there will be no one guarding the other offensive player, making them an easy passing target for an open bucket. Take me out to the ball game in this activity combining two of our favorite sports, basketball. Use a half court, then make a rectangle using two cones on the baseline and two near half court. Here's how it looks. Divide the group into two teams, shooters and runners. The shooters start lined up at the free throw line with one ball. The runners start lined up at the cone on the far right, each with one ball. On your call, the first runner in line begins to sprint around the cones as the shooters start taking shots, getting their own rebounds and passing to the next teammate in line. If the runner completes a full lap before the shooters make three shots, it's a home run worth one point. Good home run, girls. But if the shooters sink three buckets before the runner makes it back, they're out. Go, you're out, you're out. Once the runners get three outs, they switch roles with the shooters to play a new round. This is a fun way to get players comfortable scoring under pressure. Even though the shooters are trying to score as fast as possible, they should still use proper form. Remember, there's a difference between being quick and being rushed. Good, you're out! Drop the mic and grab a ball in this head-to-head -head game we call Rap Battle. Use a half court. Here's how it looks. Divide the group into two teams and line them up on the free throw line. The first player in each line gets a ball. The players at the front bump balls to initiate the game. Then. They must wrap the ball around their waist three times before the race is on to score. The first person to sink a bucket or make a putback after a miss scores a point for their team. Whichever team has more points after every player has gotten a turn wins. Players should make a layup after each rap battle. Once they get the hang of it, they can advance to jump shots. Players should keep a low and wide stance as they wrap the ball around their waist. This will help them explode to the basket more quickly and come out on top. Play one on one, five on five, and everything in between. This is flying numbers. Use a half court. Here's how it looks. Divide the group into two teams and give one pennies. Line up one team to your right and the other to your left. You stand in the middle with the ball. Play starts when you bounce the ball and call two numbers. Two, two. Whatever you call, the team send out a corresponding number of players to scrimmage and try to score. Play until one team sinks a shot or the ball goes out of bounds. Then call a new combination and play again. One, one. Change things up and get creative. Teams don't need to face each other with the same number of players. Call out mismatches like three on two or two on one to practice playing in transition with or without the numbers on their side. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Players practice reacting quickly and making clutch shots in this high energy game called quick draw. Use a half court. Then use cones to create three triangles, one at the free throw line and two on the lane lines. Players line up in groups of two, three, or four at the top of each triangle. The first player in each line has a ball. First group, right hand, pound it. They start dribbling in place. When you call out a direction, left, they must dribble to the corresponding cone and pull up for a shot. They get their own rebound and pass to the next player waiting at the top of each triangle. Go right. The first player to make a basket on each turn gets a point. Whoever has the most points after one minute wins the round. While they're waiting for you to call the direction, good girls, good girls. players should stay light on their toes and pound the ball into the ground using only their fingertips. This will help them explode quickly in either direction while controlling the ball. Remind players that even though this game moves fast, they should still use proper shooting form. Balanced feet, eyes on the basket, elbow tucked in, 
with the full follow through and wrist snap. Yeah, good winners. Good job, you two. Good job. Take on defenders from five different angles in this game we call frequent flyers. Use a half court, then space out five cones along the three-point line. Here's how it looks. Divide the group into offensive and defensive players, with two or three more players on offense than defense. Ask players to name each of the five cones after a different city. Give each offensive player a ball and send them each to a cone. The defenders start in the paint. On your call, go set, go. the offensive players must dribble from one of the cones to the basket, get past the defender, and score. Once they do, they can consider their imaginary passport stamped by that cone's corresponding city. The first player to score from all five cities wins the round. Good, all your stamps, good. Timing is everything here and it may take a few tries before offensive players learn to time their shot to when defenders are focused on guarding another player. 